Welcome to Matrix Tips and Tricks. Our session today will be specifically designed for appraisers, and today we're going to talk about the 1004 MC report. So from the appraiser standpoint, uh, the search that you do uh, in the particular search form is going to have just one little thing that you need to remember is that when you're doing a search and you're choosing your statuses, notice that when I choose a closed status, as you see here, Matrix will by default put in a date range for you. So you just need to be careful here that the date range it puts in for you is the date range that you are wanting to use for your report. The default is 180 days. So what you're looking at here is a search that's going to give me all of the active properties, but it's only going to give me the closed or sold properties back six months or 180 days. Now, to change that, it's very simple. Just click in the box, and instead of using 180, you can use 365 days, which of course is a year. That will then now refresh that search when you run it and take it back 365 days versus the default of 180. So in other words, just be careful when you choose a status that the date range that you see is the date range that you truly want. If you have to be more specific than just going back from today, back 365 days, there is a small calendar icon you can click on and you can put in the actual time frames that you want using the start date and the end date um, that, that you prefer. So again, just a little tip for you right there. So again, no matter how you do your search, the next step that you're going to do is go to your results at the bottom of the screen. And when you go to your results, you'll see the properties that are now presented for you. Now, I see 25 properties on this page out of a total of 51. Note that you can come to the top here and you can change the maximum number of properties that you want to see per page to eliminate scrolling. So I've got 51. 50 is not quite going to cut it, so maybe I'm just going to go, say, show 100 per page. And now, I again, don't have to jump from page to page because they're all presented on the single page for me, which also makes it very easy for me to select them all by just clicking the little box on the top of the column here that says check or uncheck all on the page and that selects all of them. Now, just a side note here, if I do have multiple pages, if I just check that box there, it's only gonna check the ones that are on the page. But if I were to come over here to the top and say check all, that would check all the pages that I would have available to me. So if I had you know, 200 properties available, I can only have 100 to a page. Instead of going to one page and checking across the top and then going to the next page and checking, a simple way to do it is just to check all the pages at one time. So just, just remember that. At the bottom of the screen, after you check the properties, there's an export option. Export down on the bottom. Click the export option. And from the file format, you will see the 1004MC. Click there and then simply click export. That's going to create those listings into a spreadsheet for you. And now you can see all the information that you need to accurately uh, put that information into the report format or the software that you use. Again, it's a CSV file. Just take the information from here and do what you need to do with it at that point. Another option that we've brought into the Matrix program is the 1004MC, which is more or less kind of prepackaged and done for you already without having to do any exports. And that's found under the print option. So again, do your search, make sure your date range is where you want it, select the properties you want to use, and click print at the bottom of the screen. When you click print, you'll, be, you'll come to the print dialog section and then at the bottom you'll see the 1004 mc market detail condition summary select that report the output for that report is going to be a pdf file or it can also be emailed as a link to a pdf file so i'm going to print that to a pdf file and that's going to take my search results that i searched for and selected and it's going to put them into a uh, a format that is already set up for you tells you who prepared it, the criteria that you used, in this case, residential properties, active and closed statuses going back the first year, the subtype, the school district, those are all a part of my original search. It's also going to uh, date and timestamp it for me. And then it's going to give you the inventory analysis that you need. 
I went back a year, so it breaks it down into the prior seven to 12 month period, the prior four to six month period, and the current to three months back period. Within each one of those subsections, it gives me the total number of comparable sales that were settled, gives me the absorption rates, the months of housing supply, also things like the median sale price to median list price ratios, which you can clearly see at the bottom of the screen. That report is ready to go at this point, and it's a PDF file. You can then print it off from here. You can also save it. Once again, it's a PDF file. You can put it in a file, or you could use your own email program uh, to send it to an individual using uh, Outlook or Gmail or whatever program that you may use. So two different types of ways to get the 1004MC report. One is through the print option where you've got the 1004MC market condition summary. And of course, the other one is the simple export at the bottom of the screen, which puts the information into a, an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file that you can utilize in uh, the method that you need to use that type of information. So for appraisers, that's look at your 1004MC uh, capabilities within the matrix system. And that is today's matrix tip and trick. Okay.